I hear time and again, from time to time, that there are indications to some wonderful news, which is that pervert Penis Clinton, former president pervert Penis Clinton, or let's call him Pippi Clinton, he has AIDS. Wow, that's uh, very serious. Yes. And uh, I would like to remind people of the thesis of Mrs. Uh, Manto Shabalalam Simang, the health minister of South Africa under Thabo Mbeki. She wow. suggested that people who have AIDS should consume a lot of beetroot and garlic and a lot of lemon juice. So I would say uh, if uh, that uh, pervert Clinton can uh, do for once something useful and humanitarian in his life and prove a right. I mean, she, is, mm. uh, she herself is not alive, but, uh, but prove the thesis. That yes. would be a nice contribution for science. Yes, well, uh, well, when it comes to pervert Clinton, I would like to suggest that he also consumes a lot of hot chili and wasabi. Yes. Uh, like uh, in the program Cofico. Yes. All right. Yes, of course. Chili is a very tasty dish. Ah, yes. But uh, sometimes it can be uncomfortable, right? Yes, of course. And tell me, Avna. What about um, Britain leaving the European Union? Do you think it's good or not good? Yes, it's wonderful and Israel should follow that example and stop uh, mooching on the United States as well. Really? Yes. And um, what about Trump and Clinton? Who, who is the favorite now? Of course, uh, what well, I wish, I pray, that Trump would become president and uh, that Hitlery, Rotten Clinton, and Idi Amin Obama, and uh, everybody else who who should go to prison would find themselves in the places where they belong, which is in prison. And um, what else would you like to say? Ah yes, speaking about Trump, Trump said he would uh, also imprison Robert Mugabe, which mm. is also cool and he also belongs in prison but uh, as I say if he can do that somehow I don't know how then uh, it means that he can have Janusz Balus released from South mm. African prison which is much better Wow uh, Yes Please God Wow you actually met with the author of the book Killing Killing Hani, right? Actually, it is to kill Hani, Zabich Haniego. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, there is a book about Janusz Varus, which is called Zabich Haniego. Killing Hani. Yes. And um, to kill Hani. To kill Hani. So, yes. of course, we don't. Um, we are just commenting about your meeting with the journalist who wrote this book. How yes. was that, of now? Oh, that was nice, but uh, unfortunately. Uh, I didn't manage to publish the movie The Good, The Bad and Mrs. Honey. Uh, uh, well, some, there were actually two people or at least one movie producer, I think two, who would have published it had it been in Polish. Wow, because you met with the journalist yes. and discussed with him your movie, right? Right. And as we all know, the good, the bad, and Mrs. Honey is now already a famous on movie you, on, on YouTube. YouTube. Yes. And um, it's a very good movie. It's yes. a political satire. I've watched it. Yes. And uh, I can only recommend to the viewers at home to also watch it. Yes. Because it's really very good. Yes. Um, so, tell us a little bit more about The Good, The Bad and Mrs. Harney, please. Yes. Uh, the Good is Mrs. Rajnatovich, I mean Svetlana Rajnatovich. Yes. The singer. Uh, she is actually the second wife of 
Jean Courage Natovic. Yes. Um, the bad is Mr. Sasjinjic. And uh, the third person is Mrs. Han. Right, uh, okay. In other words, the good one is Svetlana. Yes. The bad one is Mrs. Jinjic. Yes. And Mrs. Horney is Mrs. Horney. Yes. I mean, it's like the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yes. Yes. We all know there was a very famous movie. Yes. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And I would like to make also a movie about their husbands and their assassins, which would be called the good, the bad, the ugly, and the assassins. Oh. That would be a documentary. A documentary. Maybe, yes. Yes, these things are very interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, we all know you have a very keen interest in politics. Yes. And uh, in the subtle subtleties of life. Yes. You know? And also, uh, and also there are other things there. The Renaissance uh, period. You know, I made the movie also, I mean, made, it is on YouTube. That's right. Uh, Dracula's Rebirth to the Sleeping Beauty. Yes. Yes, that is a very, very good movie also. Yes. Um, because you knew someone who you actually wrote the movie about. That's true. And she had a terrible son, yes. Uh, but when I made the movie, I realized that Dracula wasn't just... Uh, he wasn't uh, really a bad person, uh, yes. a spoilt brat or anything. He actually saved uh, his county at least. Yes. Or even maybe the whole of Romania, maybe the whole of Hungary and Romania, the whole of uh, Europe yes. from Ottoman conquest. Yes, um, and obviously the whole idea about Dracula being a vampire and things like that, this came a little bit later. You That's know. true, yes. From the book Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yes, which was originally he meant to call the main character Count Vampire, but afterwards he heard about Dracula. So uh, he heard about mm -hmm. Prince Vlad, yes. the Hungarian prince. The Romanian prince. The Romanian prince. Yes, so he called him Count Dracula. Yes. He called, he called it. He called him Count Dracula. And there was also, uh, around the same time, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Mary Shelley said that her and her friends had yes. to each write a story, a book. Yes. And she wrote this horror story. Yes. And some people say this was based on the Golem of Prague. Maybe, yes. So that is Frankenstein. And uh, Frankenstein was also uh, an SS person, Willie Mantz. Yeah. who served in Treblinka mm. and was nicknamed by the prisoners Frankenstein. I see. And actually the, the Golem of Prague is very interesting because um, according to Jewish legend a rabbi made a man yes. of clay yes. who he brought to life. But with, uh, it was much deeper than that, of course. Yes. Thanks. Well, we wish you very good luck with uh, the good, the bad, and Mrs. Harney. Yes. And um, and we look forward to our next interview. Thanks.